So Bosque Village is about a kilometer long on one side, and the other side averages about a third of a kilometer. That's why it's 33 hectares, because uh, one kilometer by one kilometer would be 100 hectares. These are not acres, hectares are different, and they make more sense. They're part of the metric system instead of the English system. So it's about 83 acres. Let's talk about running trails. This is a big space. It's varied, it's beautiful, it's safe. Uh, we have cut trails through here in the past and it's been awesome for running at times. But trails have to be maintained. And they're very useful, we need them. Uh, as there's more people, they'll get maintained automatically more often. Uh, just with people's feet stomping down the trail and widening a little bit. That's okay. We want to do is, is make a project in which we have running trails that are awesome, uh, that are safe, and in some cases where it's really slippery, we will even pave those in some way. Perhaps we could use ground up tires to make a surface that's really comfortable. I mean, make this place for running. I can't believe I haven't done it already. I mean, I've made efforts, we've made trails, but they grow over. And trail making becomes a serious part of the budget. Trail maintenance becomes a serious part of the budget. So it's, it's actually something that, that really is expensive to maintain. And so if we're, gonna, if we're gonna go ahead and market to runners, I think it's a great idea. I'm very pro running. I used to run and stuff quite a bit. And actually if I had better trails, I might be more inclined to run more. The problem with most natural trails is that they're full of sticks and rocks and you do have to pay a lot of attention to your feet. Now, in the city, you gotta pay attention to cars and that's scarier to me. And there's holes in the ground, there might be gutters, uh, there's curbs, there's people, obviously. And so running in the city seems difficult. I would like to be able to offer that those people can come here and while they're here, they can engage in what they enjoy as a sport or a hobby, running, and they can do it on amazingly cool trails, a fairly complex uh, set of trails. Now, in the past, I've made a variety of loops. I made a loop around the entire thing. That is impossible to maintain because no one uses it and it grows over. I've made a loop here in the Mesa. That was very successful. We even had a 5K run here, a competition. Uh, it was a very friendly uh, competition. And people ran in a circle enough times that they got five kilometers. Um, <clears throat> circles aren't too interesting to me. So up here on the Mesa, this flat area, I'd like to make more of a figure eight type thing where you're not always turning in the same direction. They, they say that trail running is more healthy for you and that does not surprise me. We weren't really designed to walk in shoes on hard concrete. We of course weren't designed to have shoes, but most of us are gonna keep using shoes. You're welcome to try work, walking barefoot. Do take care of your feet. But I'm gonna use shoes and I need a space that, that doesn't have a lot of sticks in it, rocks, one that isn't all the same direction, um, one that has up and down. That's another thing. If you're just running on a track or running flat in the city, then you're not getting a full range of muscular use. You're not, you're not uh, exercising the range of your muscle because you're doing too much of repetitive motion. That's probably bad for you. Just in general, we were evolved to move in different ways, not singular uh, simplistic ways. And so having to go uphill and downhill and around little corners and things is, is very useful. Of course, the trail should, should not have lots of sharp turns or tricky things or just anywhere where you could fall or get injured, we just don't need to deal with. Uh, we have to machete up above really far all the branches around it so nobody gets hit in the face with a branch. Uh, that seems basic. Uh, we'll build comfort stations out in different spots. But usually you can run pretty far and get to, a, to get to a toilet or something if you need one. But slowly as the bosque has little outposts and things, there'll be spots that you can run to uh, and, and get something to drink or, or pee or whatever. Uh, <clears throat> and, and also there, there'll be more artistic things, more destinations you would run to, maybe take a rest and stretch out there, maybe put up a few stretching bars and things. All we have to do for that is just shape an oak shape and oak at, a, at a different levels and people can use those to stretch out. Um, I think that's about it. Running's pretty straightforward. I, I'm a proponent of it and I want to especially invite runners to come here. We should join runner groups on Facebook 
anything about running, we should uh, publicize in, in, in different social media. Uh, we should post photos of people running. We should have uh, fun runs in town, in Aranga. That'd be great to, to, to design and implement fun runs that cost zero. We don't offer a number. We barely know who the winner is. Winning's not the point at all. Uh, perhaps it's like beta breakers where people um, run in costume. That would be cool. Uh, the idea is a real fun run, and it shouldn't cost a dang thing. We, we should tell the government we're doing it, or somebody should. Uh, and really, we're just defining it. And, you know, we want to fill up the hotels. We want to have fire at night. Uh, probably have it on a Sunday morning and encourage people to come the night before. Uh, and have fires down by the lake and have people come and stay in the Bosque as well. And, and, uh, and they actually run as well, have a variety of routes that people just choose on their own. Um, we can all leave at pretty much the same time and get back at pretty much the same time because we don't have to know who got in first, you know? But some people could decide to run out to the old, old railroad station. That could make an excellent goal. And, and other people could decide to, to run up to the railroad tracks and across and down. That would be just fine. I can think of a couple routes off the, off the top of my head. Some people could decide to run out to, I don't know if we can get out to, uh, to Harakworo on back roads, but there could be back roads down on the lake bed that are available for, for having a running route. Um, and we'll brainstorm others. Back to the Bosque, uh, you know, we can schedule every morning a run and, and there's a leaving point, maybe even two of them if there's enough people. But there's just a point in which you're at and you're stretching out and you're getting your water and you're having a crap and then you go off with whoever shows up for a run. Sometimes some people like to run in groups and anybody who wants to run by themselves can just go run by themselves. That's perfectly fine. Um, shoes. I guess are the primary equipment of running. I, I will mention as far as equipment goes, you don't need fancy ass special running clothes. I don't know who came up with this idea that if you go and you get on your bike and you're gonna bike somewhere that you now have to deck yourself out so you look like a bicyclist. You know, it's all these sports clothes. I've never owned any of that stuff. I did own some of those shorts with a, a, crotted, uh, a, a, patched, no, a padded crotch. Uh, and those were fine, kind of weird, but uh, for running, you just need some shorts and a shirt. Uh, you may want a fanny pack of some kind to carry some junk. But, you know, I, I would encourage runners to explore not needing to get into a bunch of material objects. We do not have to have objects do everything we do. I do like the idea of, of any kind of a fitness uh, band, a fitness watch thing that, that monitors your heart rate in particular. But a lot of other things like where you went. Uh, some people might want to use those kind of wristbands for just living their life here in Bosque Village because they're going to be walking more than normal. It's kind of fun to look at the map, and, and we could even combine maps and see where everybody walks. We could actually use that for space planning and be measuring, like, where are people going when, and that would tell us where we should improve more. That's true for trails as well. If runners are using a trail more, then we should improve it more. I would like... I mean, the immediate goal is to figure out how to improve the basics, the, the, the critical trails that, that are just so that I can say to people, yes, we've got an awesome running trail. And it's not going to be all rubberized, vulcanized with thingies and water and things, but I've got a safe place in nature where you can run, and we have made an attempt to make a good trail. And it's mostly good. I'd like to, of course, improve on that and get to be able to say, we have an amazing trail system that is is perfectly designed in these places and these secondary trails we're working on and improving as well. We offer all of this to you. Back to your clothes. You don't need any kind of fancy clothes. Uh, I don't even go with pockets. I don't even want to have a day pack. You know, I barely want to carry a key to my, to my cabin. Um, sometimes I'll have a key around my neck, just a single key. And I want to go running and I don't want any limitations on me of physical things. I will have the shoes. And I have bought a number of types of running shoes over time. I have uh, been, uh, I've had really close friends with people who run, they wear out shoes. They actually run enough to wear out a pair of running shoes. What we want to do is evaluate every kind of running shoe that there is, look for a, 
uh, not top brand product because I don't want to pay for brand. So sorry, Nikon. I don't want to have Nikon as a sponsor unless they could actually convince me that they have measurably the best shoe because that's all of what it's going to be about for this is, uh, is how well does this shoe wear? How tough is it? How comfortable is it? How healthy is it? Is it the best tennis shoe, I guess running shoe, that there is? Does it have awesome traction? We need a lot of traction here. This is uh, a lot of dirt and, and dust and slippery places and rocks. So we can't have like little wussy fancy shoes. You know, they have to be tough shoes. So what's the best brand of a shoe is the question. How do we get them? And uh, I want to be selling those here. There's only so many sizes of shoe available. And I don't care about colors that much myself. Uh, so I think we can stock enough of one brand of shoe so that somebody can come here and get a pair of shoes. Or they could buy them ahead of time. That's fine as well. In fact, I guess generally you want to break in shoes, right? So maybe people should buy them before they come here. But for people who are here and get psyched up about running, they should also have the option to buy. So oddly enough, the store should have shoes. What else about running? Well, you tell me. It's a big topic. It's a, it should be simple, right? You'd think, oh, let's go running. Okay, yay. No, it's complex like everything is. We're trying to work on the details. We're trying to do it for the benefit of everybody. And I think it's actually a priority. It's a way to stay warm. In the morning, if you go out for a run in the morning, you have just warmed your body up really quick. And other people will be huddled around their coffee saying, oh, it's a chilly morning. It's so chilly. And, and instead, this other person will be out there in the glory and beauty of the sunrise and nature and all the birds singing. Why aren't the birds singing this morning? That's very suspicious. Maybe they all went to a party somewhere. Didn't invite me. So what else? Brainstorm it. Uh, can't think of much else. Uh, of course, people who are running, if, if, you, if they're coming and running a lot, then we want to measure their physical stats. I would recommend that when people arrive, that we measure their physical stats anyway. That is an optional part of things. But there are people who come here and they can lose weight. They can increase muscle mass. Uh, they can improve their cardiovascular system. Most importantly, they can improve their diet. So hopefully the diet that people are eating here and the exercise they're doing fits into a part of them pushing themselves into a better way of being. Uh, or we could just go running. Why don't you just go running? Keep it simple. I'll do the, the hard thinking part. You're welcome to join in on that. Or you could just come here and go running. Don't worry about all that stuff. And enjoy the trails. And uh, we'll set you up to have real nice runs. <laughs>